welcome back to another semester. Um, we have a few changes. We do. We, our former show called Expose Yourself is now going to be somewhat entertainment show. We'll still have some guests on and I don't know, just a combination of everything. So yeah. we just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. And get some pop maybe, culture in there. Maybe bring back the entertainment show, what it used to be. Mm -hmm. So, so um, tonight we have a, a theme show and it's going to be called Movie Night. Yeah. Um, we are going to catch you up with some of the movies that we've seen over the break. I mean, because it's our first show of the semester. Yep. Um, and maybe some that you guys have seen, just some that's been out for the past few months. And then later we will give you some trailers um, and heads up to upcoming movies throughout the next month. So mm -hmm. we will see. Yeah. Um, so the first movie, we both, we both saw this over break. Did you see this over break too? Yeah. Um, yep. Django Unchained. So what did, you, what did you think about this? Well, in case you guys don't know what it is, it is pretty much a Western movie um, with um, Jamie Foxx mm -hmm. and um, Christoph Waltz and Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, and it's pretty much very much so an action film. Um, Which you ex would expect from Quentin Tarantino. Yes, oh. and <laughs> there's a lot of guns and blood and... Yeah, there's one scene in the movie where literally I couldn't. I love action movies, but I like had to close my eyes. I it think hurts. I think I know what scene you're talking about. I didn't like that scene either. But so regardless, it is an awesome movie. Um, <coughs> I would probably give it four stars out of five. Mm, I'll give it. I don't know, maybe three. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we do have um, the trailer for it, just in case you guys did not see it. Um, and yeah, we'll just jump right into that. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. Good cold evening, gentlemen. I must say inventory of the lead to believe is a specimen I'm keen to acquire. When I hear the trumpet sound, What's your name? I'm on a ride right out of the ground. Django. And you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Hey, stop talking to him. Calm down. I'm simply a customer trying to conduct a transaction. Last chance, got the pants. No, very well. <laughs> Know what a bounty hunter is? You kill people, and they give you a reward. Hmm. The better they are, bigger the reward. I need your help. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. However, I don't know what they look like, but you do. Don't you? They caught my wife, and they sold her, but I don't know who took. That means we visit every plantation until we find them. Once a final brittle brother lies dead in the dust, I agree to give you your freedom. And I'll take you to rescue your wife. Where are we going? Yes! Woo! <laughs> Gentlemen, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Kill white folks and they pay you for it? That's not the life. I like the way you die, boy. He is a rambunctious sword, ain't he? <laughs> What's your name? Django. The deal's signed. So uh, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, he has like a, s a specific style to his movies. Like you can mm -hmm. tell, like it's his movie. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it was a and there was a little bit of like action. So yeah. there was a love story mm -hmm. slash like just tons of things going yeah. on. So it keeps you exciting. And like I said, there is a love story. So ladies, if you want to go and you're not too much into the action, mm -hmm. there's still a little bit for you. So yeah. um, and one thing, because we were when I was sitting there watching, I could not. Um, 
I cannot think of where Christoph Waltz was from. Like I couldn't, I couldn't tell what I didn't know that it was him, and I had no idea he was the guy from. Um, oh, um, Water for Elephants. Yep, and he's also in another Quentin Tarantino movie. Glorious yep, in Glorious Bastards. Yeah, he is like the perfect like yep. character. Like this, he's like the quiet, nice guy, but then he's got like a psychotic side to him. Yeah, which, he's which really good at that. He uh, in all three of those movies, he plays kind of a kooky little yeah. guy, but he's definitely one of the top. Um, actors to keep an eye out for. So you know who I couldn't stand in this movie, Samuel L. Jackson. Like yeah. I couldn't wait till he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really mean to say, but he just no, annoys me. Don't give away the movie. <laughs> no, sorry. he was he was definitely <laughs> a little bit. You kind of wanted to hate him in that movie, yeah. which is not tech. I mean, I guess there was Jumper, which he was also a bad guy too. But I don't know. There's no. something about him. Yeah. Something about him. Okay, so what's another movie that came out? Um, Les Miserables. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I did not see this. I didn't see it either. And I've heard it's good, and it's up for a few awards. Um, I think there's eight nominations right now for the Academy Awards. Um, and then there's actually a couple for the Golden Globes. It won Best Motion Picture, Best Actor, um, by Hugh Jackman, and then Best Supporting Actor Actress by Anne Hathaway. So, and I heard that one of her songs, I can't remember what it's called, but everyone is just like mesmerized by her singing. Hmm. She's played a few different characters. I mean, she went from what, Princess Diaries to Devil Wears Prada to yep. Batman. So I mean, she's she, a, she can do everything. Yeah. yeah. So I think that would be one of the major reasons why I would go see it. But. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have a clip of this, too, so yeah. we'll give you guys a little heads up. If you yeah. haven't seen or if you have seen, you can check it out. I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high, life worth living I dreamed that love would never die. I dreamed that God would be forgiving. But the tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder. definitely a lot of good actors yeah. and actresses in that movie. I didn't know that until a few, actually a few weeks ago. I was like, oh, I don't really, I'm not that interested. And then I saw like. Yeah, because it, it is a musical and I'm kind of like iffy on those. Yeah. I saw on Wikipedia there's like 50, 51 songs I think. Really? I, think. I don't know if that's <laughs> oh, true, geez. but it like listed 51 songs. I don't huh. know. Well, definitely <laughs> if you're not into musicals, I would not suggest you see this movie. <laughs> yeah. But. I don't know. I've heard it's pretty good, and obviously it's up for some awards, so yep. that's always a good thing to know going into a movie. Yep. Um, but I think we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, we'll start talking about some of the movies that are going to be coming out. So.
TV10 is the best. It's passion. Spiffing. TV10 is marvelous. Extraordinary. Spectacular. TV10 is mm, TV station. And we're back. Um, so we're going to start off right away. We have one trailer here for you guys. Um, the movie's called Dark Skies. Um, when I initially saw this trailer, I thought it was going to be another little demon child movie. Yet another one. Saw The Omen mm -hmm. the other day, by the way. Weird. Um, this one looks pretty interesting. Um, I know it's based off a conspiracy theory based TV series from like the 90s, I think it was like 96 or 97, um, and it was apparently it was kind of like the X Files, but that's like where it all kicked off the interest in sci-fi movies, and I don't know. So this is kind of primarily based off of that show, um, and yeah. So here's the trailer. Hey, we got people coming over in five. Get your butt home. Epic game of modern warfare. Yeah, that's what save buttons are for, pal. You have a bad brain. Sam, did you do this? The Santa boy did it himself. Before he came to my room. There's no sign of forced entry. You sure all the doors and windows are locked? I'm sure. We check them every night. Karen says you guys had to call the police. Is everything all right at home? Yeah. The marks on your son's body appear to have been applied with a brand. There are people who have reported experiencing the same things that we have been experiencing. I found a guy who claims to be an expert on this stuff. Have you experienced any unexplained illnesses or blackouts? Daniel, why aren't you answering me? Daniel! Feeling that you might not be in control of your own body? There's something wrong with you people! You cannot escape them. Sooner or later, when they're ready, they will take your family. Do not open the store under any circumstances. looks a little creepy when yeah. I first saw and then um, I mean after watching the trailer I, I realized it wasn't about demon kids but I think it's more about aliens and to me that kind of reminds me of sci or um, signs yep but that movie I hate alien movies so I don't know if I'm gonna be honestly going to see that one but signs made me laugh like it was just it was funny to me I don't know <laughs> so maybe I'll go see it and I'll yeah. just think it's hilarious or I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And I wonder if, like, they do show the aliens, like, how <coughs> realistic they're going to look, you know? Because yeah. that's, like, the deal breaker there. Yeah. Usually. Deal breaker. Yeah. Yep. So, on going along with that movie, we also have another trailer for you guys, um, Side Effects, um, coming out soon. And these are the, s I believe it's the same director that did Contagion. Mm -hmm. Did you see that one? Yep. And then um, it also has, like, Jude Law who's super gorgeous, um, and Channing Tatum and Rooney Mara, who is also, I found out, the or I put two and two together, that she was the main girl in um, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Mm. So, and she plays 
totally. I mean, this character in this movie seems like way different from what she played, mm. so she seems kind of versatile too. So, yeah. Well, we'll just jump into the trailer right away. No sign of struggle. Where is her lawyer? She doesn't have one. She just kept talking about you. I don't understand why this is happening. Do you know her? Would you have treated her differently if she was a man? That's not what happened. And what is going on? I put her on a blixer. I don't think you should be my doctor anymore. I think she requires more observation. Someone gets punished. It's all gonna go away. It's gonna follow you around forever. I had no idea this was going on. Stop! It's too late! He lied to her. He was lying to me. I would never be here if it weren't for you. I want my life back! You know I'm not crazy. Everyone knows everything. Damn, are you awake? <laughs> Destroy that before it destroys you. So I actually really want to see that movie. I will actually make a bet with someone that the person that dies is Channing Tatum. Oh. I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a bet. I will bet anyone. Why would why would you want him to die? I'm no. not I'm not saying I want him to. I'm just saying I think that I'm gonna guess that he the one that gets killed. Bet anyone. Yeah. Come down here. I'll bet you. I'll shake your hand. <laughs> um so yeah, and actually one of our workers, or camera people, just told us that um, she is the granddaughter of the owner of the Steelers, and, the o and then the other side is the owner of the Giants. So she has two grandparents that own NFL teams. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah. fun fact. So um, the next movie that we're going to talk about, I'm actually like really excited to see this. Um, it's Identity Thief, which stars um, Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. Um, she is so hilarious. Yeah. Like, did you see Bridesmaids? She yeah. was so funny. She was, if you guys don't know who we're talking about, she was the bigger woman in, um, in like, the kooky one. Yeah. With all the puppies running in around. The, in the fanny pack. And yeah. The so, <laughs> she's hilarious and poops in the sink. But, yeah. anyway, if you didn't watch the movie, you should probably watch it because of that. Um... Anyway, and so she she's also has like a TV series too or something that yeah. she's hilarious mm -hmm. in. So, so well, um, we'll show you the trailer. We gotta cut the card. You don't pay your bills. I pay my bills. Swipe it one more time. Nothing wrong with that card. Randy, go get a debit Sandy. card. Sandy. Sandy. That's un nombre de una mujer. Yo soy Sandy. Oh, mi nombre es Sandy. I bet that was hurtful, wasn't oh, it? Hurtful, hurtful. Exceeded the credit limit. I used the card for coffee and gas. Florida. Right beyond water sports. Never heard of it. I'm in Colorado. We don't have beaches. You know, we're landlocked. Madison, you missed your court date in Florida three days ago. I've never even been to Florida. Pull much. Who the hell is this? If I had to guess, this is the person who stole your identity. Sammy Bigelow. Patterson. What the f your receipt. You know what? Keep the card. It's done. Oh, Look at her. She's like a hobbit. I can handle her. I'm going after Bill. This is crazy. You don't chase criminals. You're not Batman. Oh, neck. 
Neck hurts, huh? Why don't we swap information? It's Sandy Bigelow Patterson. Bigelow, such a rare name. It's a family name. Jeremiah Bigelow was a pretty well-known bear hunter. Sounds brave. Here's my driver's license with my name, Sandy Bigelow Patterson. Gotcha. I'm a Talk. We can be adults about this. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Oh, thank God. You're all right, though, huh? Yeah. Rental car didn't even have a scratch on it. Woo! That's great news. Car's fine. What's more important... You should have put your hazards on. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, um, so we're actually going to go to a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, we'll talk about uh, the trailer in the upcoming movie, that, or in the upcoming movie, so yeah. we'll be right back. Come on, Mike, this is your shot at the big time. TV 10, you can do it, buddy. I have faith in you, hot dog man. Let's do it. You can do it. Five seconds, coming out of camera two! For eager to be on the game show, they took, didn't take any convincing, just wanted to jump right in. station. Alright, so Identity Thief. I am really excited to see this movie. I am too. And like the characters, Jason Bateman and uh, Melissa McCarthy, I wouldn't see them like together in a funny movie just because like their their funniness is mm -hmm. different um like obviously um mccarthy she's just like wild and out there and like jason bateman just seems like kind of kept himself he doesn't really show emotion or he seems sarcastic yeah more, he's kind of like but. and he doesn't laugh at his own jokes you know he's kind of like that silent funny guy yeah I so, like both of them, so that's why I think it'll definitely yeah, be Yeah, it'll be interesting. On. And I, I really hope that they didn't show all the funny stuff in the trailer, because mm -hmm. that's always such a disappointment. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But they had the trailer for Bridesmaids was hilarious, and mm -hmm. then it turned into an extremely hilarious movie. Yeah. So you never mm -hmm. know. There's always hope. Um, so then we also have one more movie to kind of switch it up. We have... Um, Safe Haven, which is a Nicholas Sparks movie. 
Um, and it ironically is a love story that comes out on February 14th, Valentine's Day, if none of you knew that. Um, and yeah, Juliana um, Huff? Yes, yeah. is in it. She used to be a dancer on Dancing with the Stars um, and was in Footloose as yeah. well, the new Footloose. But. And then I forgot his name, but he's married to Fergie yet, right? Mm -hmm. Josh. Dumal, is that his name? Is? <laughs> I think. <laughs> He's attractive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's he, that he hasn't really been in anything mm -hmm. for a while. He was. Oh, he yeah, was Transformers. In, he was in Transformers, but ever since he really. Oh, and then he was in um, the one with uh, something in Rome. What is it called? Something in Rome with. Um, oh, my gosh, the name is something. Whatever. He's in that one, too. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go to the trailer really quick. And when we come back, we'll chat about it more. You seen this woman? I don't think so. Stop the back, Boston TV! Definitely change of pace. From what? Somewhere I don't really want to go back to. It's usually just a pit stop for most people. I like it here. I'm Alex, nice to meet you. just sit in my shed. I see you walking every day. It's perfect for you. I appreciate it, but I just, I can't take it. All right. Why won't you let him get to know you? I've had things happen to me in the past. Open up. <laughs> Everything's waiting for you. Did you hear about his wife? She passed away a few years ago. Okay, maybe I overreacted. Would you like to go canoeing with me? Canoeing? I like to go canoeing. <laughs> Does it get better? Just focusing on the kids. And today, with you, it feels like the first time I've looked up. <laughs> I'm happy here with you. Yeah. Detective Tierney, do you know this woman? Katie, he's here. I've got to get out of here. Just tell me the truth. It's everything that I was afraid of. He's going to find me. If you're in some kind of trouble, we can fix this. Katie! Katie! I love you, but I can't let you go. There's no safer place for you than here with me. All right, so we're back. Um, when I was, so obviously that's a Nicholas Sparks one, um, kind of the same themes. And when I looked up what it was about, quote, unquote, it said, hope, survival, and the power of true love, which is, I guess, essential for Valentine's yeah. Day. And it's a Nicholas Sparks book or novel. So obviously that's a key themes in his stories. So. And the only one I've actually seen is The Notebook. And the only movie you've yeah. ever seen by Nicholas Sparks? Mm -hmm. And I don't think anything what? can trump that movie. That is my favorite. True. My boyfriend's never seen it. Well, you have to make him watch it. I now. know. And then I'll make him go see this yeah. one. <laughs> Not that I really am that th like, excited to see it, yeah. but you got to do it. Mm -hmm. You should do it. <laughs> yeah. You only get like one day of the year where your boyfriend should go and see a girly movie, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's Valentine's Day, which is coming up, so. Yep. <laughs> Not that I really, like I said, want to go, but you kind of have to. Yeah. In the light of <laughs> Valentine's Day, I guess. Um, another movie that you did see was Flight 2. Did you like that one? Um, I did. The With Denzel. Washington. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess, like, the events leading up to the crash and things like that, that was just, like, an amazing scene. You're just, like, on the edge of your seat, just, like, watching, like, how this is going to span out. So yeah. I recommend seeing that also if you haven't. Well, next, next um, week we'll have a band on, hopefully, or some video of that but yeah so we'll tune in next week and it's another episode end. of Expl er, entertainment show i guess mm -hmm.